and welcome back to Bloodlines. Need a ride? Yes, we do. Okay, time to go to Hollywood, and uh, something I want to talk about while it loads up. You. The maps. You probably remember Santa Monica. It was fairly small, but it was well laid out. You know, like two main areas, kind of square, no problem. Downtown was really big, but there wasn't really much there. Eight oh. years of war. If I haven't seen you, neither is Isaac. So that's your next stop. Not gonna lie, I kind of forgot about this guy. Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. Cool. Anyway, Hollywood is one street. It's got like a slight, a slight uh, corner here. But yeah, it's one street. However, they have made ample use of that street. Yeah, I know there's another one here, but it doesn't go anywhere. Aha! This place is... It's physically tiny, but the amount of stuff here is enormous. Also, thing to note, uh, if you're playing a Nosferatu, if you're a Nosferatu, if you get too close to normies, they freak out. And you get a mass grave violation. The only way to avoid... Okay. The only way to avoid that is with Obfuscate. But there's a problem, and it's right here. The, the Lucky Star Motel. If you don't have an Obfuscate of at least... I think it's... It's either four or five. It's gotta be really high. Whenever you activate any item for any reason, your Obfuscate breaks. There's a quest in there. If you come out of there as a Nosferatu, 95% chance you will immediately get a Masquerade violation. And there's no way to avoid it. The only way to avoid it, after I just said there isn't one, is if you, um... Is if you, you, you have Obfuscate 5 and already have it up. Actually, hold on. I think that place might count as an Elysium, so you can't use Obfuscate. I can't remember. It sucks. Nobody to fall asleep next to you? Oh, Ooh, funny. Doink. I could have sworn that there was like a little vent thing that triggered. Welcome to Red Spot, home of the monster I charged. 72 ounces of your favorite beverage for 89 cents. Blah, blah. You need help or something? Dude, your mic is worse than mine. You, uh, hear anything new about the serial killer? Uh, this isn't gonna turn out to be ironic, is it? You're not, like, a serial killer, are you? What have you heard? Didn't know. What else goes on around here? Anything interesting? I call them Piznaccios. Man, I could go for some Piznaccios right now. I'm not gonna lie, that actually sounds pretty good. You should come out and see my band, a bowl of cereal. We're playing tomorrow night at the crematorium. Five bucks, two drink men. We're gonna ruin the place. I'm not even gonna touch that. Anything else I should know about? The Vesuvius rocks. They don't let me in anymore, but damn, the girls in there, dude. So, it's like midget smuggling night, ring. I, assume you do sleep. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. And I've been to the Vesuvius. It's a strip club. I have no idea what he's talking about. Oh, wait, I don't even have a car, dude. It's always good to know that the future of our country is in good hands, isn't it? Uh, hey, you know, you should really ask me about the special, you know? Okay, I'll bite. What's the special? I'm glad you asked that, bro. Like, Seeing as how you look not trustworthy or something, I got this special where you buy some really expensive burrito tots or grapple juice. You get a free weapon of your choice, bro. So, you interested? Any other kinds of writing? That, that guy in the background is so distracting. Uh, Boris, show me what you got. Burritos in the Middle Ages. Anything? How can you call yourself a writer? And here we have. Yeah, the, uh, all that dialogue is distracting. Here we have the the merchant of the area. Not nearly as good as uh, as Fat Larry, but should have like kung fu or giraffe. I gotta stop listening to that guy. Sell that. But 
this uh the Colt Anaconda is basically a 44. It's pretty good. It's not amazing though, especially not for that price. What we want here is the next level of armor. And we can now get crossbow bolts. And they're cheap. Only problem is you only get one at a time. I think you can hold like 50. Something to uh, mention here, though. Gross. Something to mention here. This sledgehammer. Don't buy the sledgehammer. Not not because I think that you can find it somewhere. I think you can, but that's not the reason. Don't buy the sledgehammer because it's really, really weak. Remember, vampires take half damage from all sources of bashing. Which is any blunt weapon. So, the sledgehammer is basically useless. The axe that we already have, and even if we hadn't found it, could get super cheap. Like, I think we could get it from Fat Larry. Uh, the, the axe is better in every way. In fact, I think it's faster, too. I could have swore I told you to see the Baron. Yeah, that was a laugh. <laughs> Except my sense of humor is a little askew, you know? Conflict just cracks me the hell up. Screw off! I went, I went to the friggin' 7-Eleven or whatever that place was. I, I don't know why, but I've never tried to attack that guy before. I, I guess my psycho playthroughs just never lasted that long. Not gonna lie, I've never actually finished a, a low humanity playthrough. I basically just rampage around Santa Monica for a while and then I get bored. Good evening, Neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? I'm looking for the Nosferatu. So, you've come to barter information with the sewer rats. LaCroix must really be desperate to be stooped to consorting with their kind, and asking for my help of all peoples. Any idea where I can find them? However, before we discuss how I might help you, there is the matter of tribute. I don't like where this conversation is heading. Call me old-fashioned, but this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. A uh, quick thing to mention here, uh, I, I actually main Anarchs in, like, every vampire tabletop game I've ever played. I have never heard of this before. This guy is the only place I've ever seen the whole barony provide tribute thing. But it, there, there's the accounting, of course. Like, you know, pop in, say, hey, I'm here. I, I, I'm going to live here for a while. Bye. And, you know, making sure that you're not a terrorist. But I've never heard of the whole needing to bring gifts thing. I see. So what do you want? What I want is a simple exchange. Last week, I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? You want me to make the pickup? Is he enough? Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe, look for a directory named Joseph K, and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? I will, I'll head over immediately, then we'll discuss, discuss my issue. Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood. Thanks. So, uh, part of the reason that I wanted to stop in at the at the convenience store first was I wanted to make sure we were strapped. I think it goes without saying that um, 
The, the pickup's not gonna go well. Because, why, why would it? When you didn't show up and, and didn't call and nobody knew anything about what happened to you, we thought you were dead. Are you okay? You know what? Never mind. We have to help you. You know, I, I thought that uh, I thought that that was going to happen the first time that we walked down the that we walked down the street. So I was completely off guard for this. Okay, this is the only time in the entire game that someone from your mortal life recognizes you, or at least thinks they do. It's never made clue. It's never made clear who the hell this lady is or how you know her. It's me, Samantha. Don't you? Did you suffer amnesia? Is that it? Let me make a call. We'll get everybody together. We can talk. Maybe you'll remember something. The important thing is that they know that you're alive. I think you've made a mistake. I just moved here. I don't know you. Come on, this is serious. I know it's you. Don't you recognize me? It's me. It's Samantha. What happened to you? Oh, let's see. Honestly, Samantha, I'm not him, okay? You understand? What is you? I don't think you know what you're saying. We're gonna help you. You'll see. Everybody just wants to see you safe. Oh, dear. Well, we can't have that. Om nom. Yeah, uh, if she makes it to the phone, she starts up a call. Nobody ever arrives, but you do get a masquerade violation. If you stop her in any way, she never does it. Uh, actually, there's a really funny one. If you're, um... Yeah, here it is. If you're a Malkavian, uh, you, you know how we can dominate people in, in when we're talking to them sometimes? Malkavians can do that too. Except they don't have dom drive people insane. Her pet it's weird! Now, let's see, uh, I think it's this one? Uh, I think it's a... the hell is he? There he is. M maybe. There! This creeper. Yeah? What do you want? Why are you wearing a jacket over your sweater in, in, in Hollywood? Shouldn't it be like 85 degrees out? You the guy with the tape? Isaac sent me. Yeah? I mean, what? Who the hell is Isaac? I don't know anyone named Isaac. Get lost, pal. Why do you have, like, three weird stab marks on your forehead? Weird. Sure you don't know him? You won't be happy if I go back empty-handed. Sorry. It's just that... I mean, something is... I just want out of this whole thing. I don't want anything to do with that damn tape. Why? I don't know. I mean, when it comes to video, I've seen everything. And I do mean everything. But this thing, it's sick. It, it can't be real, but it is. I know it. It's real, and it scares the hell out of me. You know how you feel? Lately, I've seen a lot of things you wouldn't believe. You have no idea. It's disgusting. That girl, the things that are happening to her, it just ain't right, man. It just ain't right. Something's wrong. Something's after me. I swear to God, something's after me. Whatever, just give me the tape. I don't have it. I stashed it someplace. Look, you need to find Ginger Swans. Huh? What the hell was that? Shit, did you see 
Shit. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I need to find Ginger Sw Swan's what? A dead man walking. Yeah, if we follow him down there, we'll just find a bunch of body parts. It's not as interesting as it sounds. Now, we're going to head back to Isaac. And after that, we'll be mostly free to start side questing. We could have started side questing already, but I, I just want to get this tedious, like, walk back and forth thing out of the way first. There's actually one set of side quests in particular that I'm kind of dreading because they're a little bit buggy. Yeah, something, something in this game being buggy. I'm shocked to my core. Have a good time. Hand me the item. I don't have it. Hmm. Did he at least make a good excuse? No. Butter something about a ginger swan. Ginger swan. Swan. Hmm. Not an animal, a name. Brings back a lot of memories. Seventy years ago, wasn't a man in this city that wouldn't have given up his family, career, or anything else for one night with her. Well, where do I find her? That depends. Yeah, twenty years after being at her grave. I don't know how she's relevant, but I have faith you will figure it out. Right. Uh, I, I wanted to be, um, but it's actually really good. Why? Okay, anyway. No, we're not going there. I'm going to have to walk like this the whole time. There now, but it'll be really annoying. And here we have the stereotypical... That's off. The stereotypical vampire the masquerade. My problem. Stewardess. One more for the gentleman in seat 3B. Yeah, right here. Okay to sleep with a hypothetical question do time. Do you okay to if he would give you a For once, that is not the result of Of the, uh, of the game reusing models. It is, but not for the reason you're thinking. I just might. What? Why don't you ask everyone else in the world? They'd know. Dude, dude what the hell is that around your neck? Is that like, the, the, is that like a bow tie that you didn't tie properly? Ash, there. And go tell your friends so they don't bug me. Nice to meet you. I bet. What's your problem? Yeah, it does that a lot. Never mind. I don't like your attitude. What? What's the catch? There's something wrong. To say yes would be an understatement. What do you care anyway? I could just do it. Just walk out of here and into a legend. Maybe I live, maybe I don't. What's the difference? My god, you're emo. You didn't see them? Say who? In front, back, inside my club. I try to leave, they'll move on. So I had to ask myself, if I go out there, am I prepared to die? How many could I take out before the killing stroke, huh? Two? Three? Speak up! Right now, blaze of glory, the end. And you know what? Knowing that, it doesn't bother me. 
And I guess the only reason I haven't walked out yet is because I'm trying to figure out why it doesn't bother me. I don't know, because you're a massive emo. Did Isaac send you? No. What the hell, then, would be your motivation to help me? Uh, because I'm a nice guy. And what do you propose we do? I ignore the mountain of corpses behind me. I'm, I'm super nice. Uh, I can escort you out through the sewers. We might have to fight. You'll probably die. Sure about that? I don't know that you even out the odds a whole lot. Ow! You'll make it out alive. Are you ready right now? Yes. If I make it past the hunters, I'm getting the hell out of town. Let's head into the sewers. I'll follow you. This is really hard, so I'm going to have to quick save. I'm also going to pause the video and take a moment to upgrade.